we're moving on to West Haven, where three family members are facing child abuse felony charges in connection to the death of a 12 year old boy. Our Jonathan May has been following this story since the Weber County Sheriff's Office announced the latest this morning. He joins us live in West Haven now. Jonathan. Yeah, that's right, Sarah. The Weber County Sheriff's Office says the boy's dad, stepmom, and brother are now in custody. Now I'm right in front of the home where you can see balloons and a teddy bear there on the front, great, front gate. And you might not be able to see it, see it, but there is a sign that reads, rest in peace, our little friend. We know you're in a better place, wrapped in the love of our Savior. On a GoFundMe page, members of the family shared this photo of 12-year-old Gavin Peterson. Along with this picture, the boy's aunt wrote on the page in part, quote, Gavin was killed on July 9th, 2024 after suffering years of physical abuse and neglect from his dad's long-term girlfriend. He goes to my kids' school. They've seen him around. And we wanted to do something nice for him and let him know that everyone's thinking of him. Detectives say deputies responded to a medical call at the family's house last week on that day, adding family members were performing CPR on the boy when they got there. He was taken to the hospital but died when he arrived. The Weber County Sheriff's Office identifies his dad as 46-year-old Shane Peterson, his stepmom, 50-year-old Nicole Scott, and the boy's 21-year-old brother, Tyler Peterson. They're all being linked to the boy's death. I went to the Weber County Sheriff's Office seeking an on-camera interview. They wouldn't comment. But in a social media post, they wrote in part, quote, these types of cases are extremely difficult to process and investigate. Arrest records show the 12 year old's body was malnourished to the point that his internal organs completely shut down. In the investigation, detectives say they found text messages and screenshots between the three family members that revealed, quote, a prolonged pattern of abuse. Allegedly, conversations were about keeping the boy locked in his carpetless and unfurnished bedroom and hitting him with a pinata stick. The three also allegedly talked about feeding the boy only one third a cup of water and a piece of bread with mustard feeding him at all. Detectives also allegedly found screenshots from several surveillance cameras in the boy's room. Photos showed what appeared to be multiple cameras inside the room where the bedroom door knob showed there was a lock place on the outside of the room. The boy allegedly could be seen lying on the floor in a heavily saturated diaper covered in feces. Now my photographer and I both walked up and down the street talking with neighbors. They call it all this a heartbreak, heartbreaking case. Now they all refuse to comment, including a family member we ran into while out here. Reporting live in West Haven, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.